welcome back to my channel this is stephanie blissy gem thank you for watching for those who are new to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell also give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel in today's video we're going to go ahead and do one last eyeshadow look requested by nancy nettle black um, I went ahead and I pinned her comment in my last video, my last Black yeah, Show Wednesday, I pinned her comment. She wants to see a more softer pinky look. So I did ask. I said, did y'all want to see a more softer purple look? I meant not pinky. A more softer purple look using this palette before I move on? Or did you just want, y'all just want me to move on? So she responded. She said she wanted to, she wanted to see a more softer look using this uh, Exotic Peacock palette, creating a more softer purple look. That's what we'll be creating today. And thank you, Nancy. I'm giving you a shout out for actually responding and letting me know that you still wanted to see one more look using this eyeshadow palette. So let's get started. Okay, so I did one side of my eyes. So I'm going to do the other side. And this looks more of a really softer look. Nice purple soft look. So let's get started on the next eye. I'm going to get you up closer. That way you can see what I am doing with this palette. So if y'all do have this palette and you want to follow along, let's get right into it, right? Okay, so first off, I did my uh, transition shade. I used a bigger fluffy brush this time. So, and I use a shade Honey. I use that. I use that in my crease. All over my crease. I use the shade honey. And just buff it out. You know, spread the color around your crease area. Okay, just smooth the color out. So you get those harsh, dark lines on there. Okay, so I did that. Then the next thing I did with the same brush went ahead and I went in with um, with sultry which is the lightest it's like a pinky purple color and I went ahead and I started doing my outline for my foundation to create this purple look so I did it on the outside outer corner and I went in to the crease where my transition shade is and also blended it out Spread the color around. All right. So once I did that, I used the same brush. And I went in with this one here at the top. It's called Tease. So I did that. And I also went on the outer corner with this brush. Outer corner into the crease. Just kind of work my way in, in towards my lids. And just worked it in you can also go another second layer if you like it all depends on your preference we are going for a softer look so but it is it's not bold and it's not too dramatic I mean then we uh, then the last the last shade not the last shade but the next shade I used was lustful which is the darkest purple in the palette and I use the same brush, using the same brush. I'm building a foundation with this purple. So there we have it. We're gonna go ahead and I'm going to start using a smaller brush and just blend this color out 
just kind of blend it out because I don't want it to be too dark, you know? So just blend it out. And I went ahead and I used the shade Soul Tree again. Also for the going into the lid and crease area, outer corner, but you know, just bringing it, bringing the color in and then to the crease as well. Just bringing this in. Okay, so then the next thing I did was I grabbed my big fluffy brush again. Okay, and I used the shade Wings, which is a shimmer peachy tone. I used that shade Wings, and I also used that to buff up here above the, above the crease where the eyebrow bone is and just spread that color around. Giving these lines a more softer approach. And I'm blending up because I don't want it, you know, winged out. So I'm blending up. Okay, so now I'll go back in with the shade Sultry. And just start working my way in with this color going like one third into my lid. Okay, so I did that and then I went ahead and I wet my packing brush or flat shader brush here with some setting spray so I got this brush wet and I went ahead and I went in with this shade the shimmer shade called erotic this one here I put that on the middle the center and on the inner corner like inner part of my lid and just spread it out to give me that pop of gold really nice color really liked it a lot Let's see I'm sorry if I blocked you was I blocking you there I hope I wasn't okay so went ahead and I used that shade there then I went over it again with the the smaller fluffy fluffy brush with that shade sultry, the pink, pinky purple one just kind of overlapped it with the gold. And then also, I put it in my inner corner and overlapped it on this side as well, giving me a halo eye. And just spreading the color, spreading the color up and around. And just blending that in the center portion here where the crease is, just blending this sultry shade, the light purple. And on this side as well, because like I had mentioned in my previous video, the colors tend to kind of like diminish when they're not freshly when once they're settled and applied onto the onto the eye, they tend to diminish in color. <laughs> 
So, all right. And that is the look. So now I have to do is just put on some eyeliner and mascara and we're done. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't do anything for the bottom lash line. Um, all I did is just put some um, eyeliner for the bottom waterline, which is the purple, this plum wine eyeliner for the bottom waterline. A little dry, but it, it helped. I mean, it, it worked. It was a little dry, it still worked. Time to do my eyeliner for the top lash line but you can use any ordinary eyeliner I like to I had went ahead and I used my I don't know which one is that my thicker eyeliner you know this one with the thicker tip I use this one My hand, my hands are cramping up again. There we have it. So now we're gonna go ahead and use. I use. I have a purple mascara here. I use that for the bottom lash line, and I also did it for my for my top lash line. But do my bottom my bottom lash line first. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelash on camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that mascara on. All right, <clears throat> so this is my soft purple look using my Exotic Peacock Palette by Pinky Rose. Hope you enjoyed this look. I just thought this was less dramatic. Um, just, just on the little bold side, just on the little bolder side, but not too much. It was just these purples, you know, are kind of hard not to make them look dramatic because they're like more on the darker side and they're not, and they're very pigmented once applied. 
but after once they settle into your eyes they kind of tend to kind of diminish in color but let's thank nancy for allowing us to create another more another softer purple look using our peacock palette really i really did have fun uh, using this palette and now it's time to move on with another one so thank you i also wanted to thank that the parents for allowing their teenagers to watch my video like i mentioned i did want to broaden my my demographics so um if you, allowing your teenager to watch you know my eyeshadow wacky eyeshadow wednesdays uh, you know means a lot it says a lot it's you know just something that i started you know a little project that i started on my own for this year and um would like to continue on you know doing these wacky eyeshadow wednesdays for teens to also watch so yeah so that was my main focus is to attract more of a, of a younger demographic as well to watch my videos so thank you thanks parents for allowing your children to, to watch as well and i'll see you in my next video i love you all bye